Welcome to Whiskey is the Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and you guys are watching my part three series on the top five weeded bourbons or weeded whiskeys. And this just so happens, we are finishing up this entire top five whiskey series. If you guys are new to the channel, this is where I've been taking my group of friends through a whiskey journey, introducing them to bourbons, scotches, Irish, weeded whiskeys, and weeded bourbons. I've gone through part one, two, and three on all of them. And today we're gonna to be finishing up with the weeded whiskeys. And by the time everything is all said and done, this group of friends have tasted 72 different types of whiskey, different proofs, different flavor profiles, different distilleries, and of course, different types of whiskey. The entire goal for this entire series has been to see where their preferences lie introduce them to the world of whiskey. So when it comes time for them to go out into the whiskey world and start making their own purchases, they have a good idea of their flavor profiles, what they're gonna sink their money into and what they're gonna skip. And hopefully along the way, they've picked up on a little bit of whiskey education. We've laughed a ton and we've eaten a lot of good food. And if you're new here and you haven't seen parts one, two or three of the other style of whiskeys, after you watch this one, go back and look at the others. And if you enjoy the content, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do. In a quick recap, basically what I'm doing is introducing my group of friends to whiskey. I'm serving them a flight of five whiskeys, whether it's bourbon, Irish, scotch, or weeded bourbon or weeded whiskey. And then at the very end of the flight, I'm introducing a special bottle just to say thank you and show them what else is out there in the whiskey world. And my criteria has been a little bit all over the place, but basically what it is, I have to have these whiskeys in my collection, otherwise I can't serve them. They're all shelf whiskeys, this is nothing allocated. But in this one, I have one final bottle that's gonna be a special edition, and it might be a little bit hard to get, but the other five should be on the shelf. The prices are all over the place and the ABVs are all over the place. So let's jump into it. Bottle number one, Woodford Reserve Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey coming in at 45.2% ABV. This comes in around $34.99 and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. And the mash bill that we have here is 52% wheat, 20% malted barley, 20% corn and 8% rye. And this is sweet candied cherries. Same thing on the palate. You get a good amount of oak, a little bit of spice, and there's a lot of good, rich, dark sweetness here. And the ABV is really not that bad to start out the flight. If you like a sweet wheat whiskey, this is gonna be a good one to start with. All right, let's go ahead and jump to bottle number two. Let's get rid of that. Dry Fly Straight Wheat Whiskey, 45% ABV, $49, basically $50 in Phoenix. This is age stated to three years old right there on the neck. And this is coming out of the state of Washington. They're basically saying that this is a farm to bottle distillery. Mash bill, 100% wheat. And this is your classic bready, sweet wheat whiskey. I get some citrus and also a little bit of spice. I think this is a good complement to the Woodford Reserve because of that citrus note rather than a overly powering sweet note. A little youthful with that three-year-old age statement, but overall a relatively good pour. And this is gonna be a good time to talk a little bit about being pressured into buying something in a liquor store because the cashier or the person that's working there or the attendant recommends this. Oregon Spirit Straight American Wheat Whiskey. Again, coming in at 45% ABV, 40 bucks, five-year-old age statement right there on the neck. This is distilled and bottled by Oregon Spirits and they're coming out of Bend, Oregon. And the mash bill, 74% Oregon winter wheat, 18% rye, and 8% barley. And this is straight up honey wheat bread. I don't know if you guys have Black Angus in your areas. They come out with a, a wheat bread at the very beginning of the meal. They have a little bit of cut and they have some oats across the top of it. If you were to pour honey over that, that's exactly, to me, in my opinion, that's exactly what this tastes like. Good amount of sweetness, a little bit of nuttiness. And back to what I was saying a little bit ago, every time I walked into the Total Wine & More, there's somebody that's pushing this. There's usually a rep there. Some of the sales associates are saying that, you know, this is highly coveted, this is highly awarded. They have it for tasting all the time. And eventually curiosity got the best of me, so I ended up picking it up. It's decent, but nothing fantastic. And that brings me to halfway through the weeded whiskeys. Do me a favor, let me know in the comments down below what your five whiskeys would be that you're gonna be serving your friend for the final time. And keep in mind, these are the non-allocated weeded whiskeys or weeded bourbons. And don't forget to put your sixth special bottle in to cap off the night and or to cap off the entire series and wish them well as they go out into the whiskey world. Bottle number four, Bernheim Original Kentucky Straight Wheat Whiskey. This is batch A223. 59.4% ABV, running around $65. And there's a little blurb on the side of the label that says this is anywhere from seven to nine year old wheat whiskey. 
distilled and bottled by Bernheim Distillery. And the mash bill is coming in at 51% wheat, 37% corn, 12% malted barley. On the nose and palate, definitely proofy. Ooh, definitely proofy. Cherry, sweet, bready, honey, vanilla, oak, and a good amount of spice. And I gotta tell you, four bottles in, each one of these things are distinctly different, but they all do share that same weeded characteristic. They are extremely soft on the palate. And other than the spice note that I get in some of them, they are very well-rounded. I don't get anything that's too spiky or too sharp. And this is something that I was pleasantly surprised to see on the shelf about a month ago. And as soon as I saw it, I snagged it and tried it and I liked it quite a bit. And because of that, I had to include it into part three. And talking about a new release, let's go ahead and finish up the original flight of five with something new. Old Elk Wheat and Rye. This is a blend of straight whiskeys. 99.99, 100 bucks. And this is coming in at 54.2% ABV. And unlike some of their other expressions, this is actually coming out of Fort Collins, Colorado. This is their own distillate. They do a really good job of telling you what's, on, what's in it on the label. So we're looking at 57.6% wheat, 38% rye, 4.4% barley. The whiskey's aged anywhere from seven to six years. They have seven year old straight wheat whiskey and then the six year old old elk straight rye whiskey. And in my opinion, you're getting best of both worlds. You're getting some of the rye that they're banking and you're also getting their wheat whiskey. Yes, and I am mildly obsessed with old elk right now. Good amount of oak, a little bit of cherry, definitely rye spices coming through. And the rye profile that I get out of this one is a little bit herbal. I don't get dill or mint or even that pine needle note. It leans more towards the tea herbal. And once again, because of that wheat characteristic, you end up having that nice rounded note to it. Tastes a little bit subdued without being flat, which is gonna bring us to our sixth and final bottle and our final bottle for this entire series. Maker's Mark Wood Finishing Series 2023, the BEP, Barrel Entry Proof. I figured this is the last bottle in the Wood Series, so I thought I would throw this in here since this is the last bottle in this series. Coming in 55.35% ABV, $80. It's a Kentucky straight bourbon and it's 70% corn, 16% wheat, 14% malted barley. And the wood finishing that they're doing is they threw 10 individual virgin American oak staves in the barrel. On the nose and palate, again, the classic sweet wheat note. You get classic cherry, vanilla, and spice. Good amount of oak, good dark brown sugar, good amount of sweet, good amount of spice, a little bit of cinnamon. And to round out the flight and to round out the series, I think this is a fitting end to it. And that brings us to the end of this series. It brings us to the end of this flight. Let me know in the comments down below what your five bottles would be and what your sixth special bottle would be as well. And that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. If you have and you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. Do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do again. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Turn on that bell notification because I go live with videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I am off on a 10 day vacation. I'm gonna head up to the Muggy on Rin, do some camping, hopefully shoot some videos up there. So stick around for some outdoor content and I'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you guys later. Enjoy your journey. Bye.